Herman Prime was so powerful that the developers have already nerfed him within 24 hours of us learning what his official skills were. That's right. Today I woke up and the English translation for Herman Prime's skills were released and his active skill has been changed. Now, before I went to bed last night, there were a lot of rumors going around saying that this nerf was going to be the case. And today we wake up and we find out that it is true. So what exactly has changed on Herman Prime's kit? Well, there's actually two things not just the active skill we're going to talk about the second one in a second but first what's going on guys cheers we got my water I haven't even had time to make coffee before making this video so if you appreciate that drop a thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a ton okay so the active skill is still a 2000 damage factor three target half circle AoE okay at least that's what it looks like from the videos that we've seen it appears to be a half circle but the thing that has changed is that the AoE will only apply two stacks of poison for 10 seconds whereas previously it was stated that it would be three stacks of poison for 10 seconds so this is actually a really really big change because this directly affects the expertise skill on Herman and how fast he gets the double cast of this active skill if you guys don't know what I'm talking about the expertise here says that whenever this commander's troop inflicts 25 stacks of poison on enemy troops it triggers forest of fallen eagles at level five with a 10 second cooldown so one thing that we know here for sure is that poison only stacks up to 15 times and this was a question that a lot of people had well if it only goes up to 15 how do you get to 25 well the expertise is simply calculating the total number of stacks ever applied with this uh, with this army okay now remember this hits three targets so you can apply two stacks of poison per target for six stacks with the active skill cast assuming that you actually hit three targets which sometimes will not be the case now I will say with a half circle AoE the, in any murder ball the probability you're going to hit three is extremely high okay let's just be that that's very very high but it's not always right it's not always so let's just keep that in mind what else has changed on this kit well the stats have not changed okay the third skill however has been well it's it's actually quite interesting because the assumption was that this was a 20 percent bonus to skill damage because that's all that we've ever known but it looks like we're only getting a 20 percent bonus to aoe skill damage okay and we've we've seen this type of buff in golden kingdom but we have never seen on a commander a buff to only aoe damage okay that's never been done before on a commander so this is brand new now this is also the point where i'm going to make a correction from yesterday's video i said that the defense reduction here wasn't that impressive because it would be overwritten by things like zhang yu and nevsky i was wrong i misspoke there and a lot of you in the comment section corrected me and i thank you for that thank you i appreciate it but this would be considered a passive debuff not an active skill debuff so the debuff from this defense reduction is actually going to be really nice I think this is going to be really good here okay so a little bit better than I initially thought and then the rest of the skill is the same finally with Mandrake root we see nothing has changed here you have a 10 percent chance to deal a three target AoE okay it is a fan shaped AoE according to the text here okay it's 200 damage factor and each person hit by this also takes two stacks of poison for 10 seconds okay now this only has a three second cooldown I thought that they would change this turns out they didn't the first part of the skill has not changed so anybody with 15 stacks you're going to take 15 percent less damage okay so that's less damage total and this is all the things that have changed with Herman Prime the biggest change obviously is the active skill it was reduced by 33 percent okay the number of stacks was reduced by 33 percent it's insane and also now we have some lack of synergy here with single target commanders okay that's really important with this skill right here if he's only getting a bonus to aoe that means if you pair him with Boudica prime this is not going to boost Boudica prime's skill damage okay if you pair him with tamiris this is not going to boost tamiris's skill damage so really to get the benefit of this you want to pair him with Juge Leong you want to pair him with YSG you want to pair him with Nebu okay these are all great options pairing him with Henry Henry's not going to get a bonus to his skill damage okay so really interesting stuff here very very niche now what's the deal with the change here why is this such a big deal well the big deal is because the expertise is really good on Herman if you can apply poison stacks quickly okay what players wanted to do was 
basically have this trigger every other skill cycle just like with Joan of Arc Prime okay that was the the theory here was that if you could with three stacks per hit you could hit a bunch of different targets and you had a really fast rage cycle okay and you got lucky with mandrake root then perhaps you would be able to cast your active skill every other skill cycle but now that we have significantly reduced the amount of poison stacks that you apply with the active skill we have to take a look to see if that's even possible now if we take a look at emotep okay he actually has the archer and support trees i took him to level 60 just to test some different things out okay and he can get the 150 rage rejuvenate we grab emergency protection and this is something that you have over here in the archer tree okay so so assuming that you're using this with Herman prime primary you might expect a skill cycle similar to what we get here in this battle in this battle report okay so I attacked a barbarian you see that the first the primary commander so in this case we're pretending that this is Herman prime he would cast his first active skill on turn 10 then the secondary is on turn 12 the next time we cast an active skill is on 17 then Herman would cast again on 24 and then again on 31 and so we can plot that out on a spreadsheet to have it kind of be something like this now remember with the new skills he's only a potentially giving upwards okay this is the best case scenario six poison stacks here now what's going on on turn seven here well remember the mandrake root has a 10 percent chance to do a fan shaped area that also applies six stacks of poison if you hit three targets we have you know we have no way of knowing exactly what turn this would cast on it's random okay it's 10 percent chance so i'm assuming that it's going to cast on turn seven here in this scenario and then every 13 turns after i'm just going to throw in another six for that instant proc okay is it perfect no but there's i have no way of testing this because he's not in the game yet okay so this is a super rough napkin math okay super rough let me just before you even type the comment i know that okay based on the model that we have from emotep we can assume that okay within the first few turns he's gonna get his instant proc herman that is will get his instant proc at some point here we're we're saying it's on turn seven he gets six total stacks okay then on turn 10 we have 12 total stacks then the next time herman casts his active skill would be on turn 17 so now we have 18 total stacks and then at some point we're gonna cast the fourth skill instant proc chance now we're up to 24 but we need 25 in order to cast his active skill again so after his next active skill cast we're going to hit 30 which puts us over the cap of 25 which means on the following turn uh, we would cast the active skill again okay so it's not until the third active skill cast that we get a double cast and we can kind of extrapolate this out if we continued going down uh, for the different turns so it seems like Herman prime primary is not likely to accumulate enough poison stacks on his own with this change to make it so he can cast his active skill every other skill cycle right now the other thing here that's important is this goes over by five right we only need 25 to cast again so the five extra stacks here do those get wiped from the calculation and then we start over at zero and then you have to accumulate a minimum of 25 again or on the following turn does it start at five right i would be willing to bet that it probably wipes it to zero guys that's just what i'm assuming here but we don't know we won't know until we until we you know see it in the game but how does this actually change since his nerf well this would be kind of an example of a skill cycle where herman prime is the secondary to an archer with the skill tree so in this example i used boudica prime and here we would see that normally you know you you would expect boudica prime to cast her active skill on turn nine it depends on you know if she has feral nature and, and if you get lucky with that you know it could be turn 10 or whatever but realistically let's assume that she would cast her skill on turn nine well if herman's the secondary then he wouldn't cast his skill until turn 11 and then again on 18 and then 26 and then again on 34 and in the blue we can see that the instant trigger from his fourth skill is basically the same okay i know that this is it's going to be randomized so I, I, we have no real way of guessing what this would be like but assuming that it first procs on seven and then it goes again on 20 and then again on 33 okay what we can see here is pre-nerf if he was the secondary to a skill tree commander then on turn seven he would get the six stacks from his fourth skill okay then the 
active skill of Furman prime would give him nine stacks because he would before the nerf it was three per target so then you're up to 15 then you cast again on 18 and then whenever the fourth skill procs again you would hit 30. so basically at this point you would be casting on 20 on turn 20 as opposed to what we have now after the nerf which would be turn 24 which is when the second skill is cast so it was actually much faster to you know get the double proc of the active skill before this nerf even if he was the only commander in the pairing with the poison stacks applied now if we assume we pair herman prime primary with tamiris as the secondary then you can expect a pretty much the same skill cycle that we got from emotip earlier okay but we also know that tamiris is adding one stack of poison for every normal attack that's her fourth skill so if we continue with our assumption that the instant proc happens on turn seven and then every 13 turns after and then we get the active skill on turn 10 17 24 and 31 then with the consistent application of poison from tamiris we're going to reach 25 stacks on turn 13 which is significantly that's seven turns faster than we saw earlier from the even the pre nerf of the Herman prime being secondary to a skill commander we saw turn 24 i know my head is in the way here turn 24 is what we would expect the first time that we get it now so it's almost twice as as quick to to pop the second active skill on Herman prime and then you see again that we would next hit 25 minimum on turn 24. so here we would actually cast it twice within the same time that we casted it only a single time with the without tamiris okay um, now you might be saying well on me with tamiris she actually removes the poison stocks that is not going to affect the total poison amount added okay so just keep that in mind so with tamiris it looks like if you want to cast herman prime's active skill every other skill cycle right because if you see here you skip this skill cycle basically right and then on the third skill cycle is when you get it again this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it is within the cooldown window of the actual expertise on Herman Prime so it is possible and this would be basically the fastest that you could cast the expertise on Herman Prime so basically what we know with this new nerf to the active skill on Herman Prime is that if you want to cast his active skill every other skill cycle you will need to pair him with Tamiris that is the only way mathematically to get that to happen now this has a lot of downsides first of all she's removing poison for a really pathetic damage factor okay and so that's really unfortunate it's it is what it is um that is the consequences that we get now she's not a horrible commander and I think the synergy here is really nice I hate that she removes the poison stacks but the other thing remember is that she will not have synergy with the AOB skill damage bonus on the third skill from Herman Prime and also the passive defense reduction on Herman Prime being 20 percent is lower than the passive defense reduction on Tamiris so these are both passive defense reductions so they I don't think they will stack right I talked about earlier that I made a correction about Zhang Yu and Nevsky and all that stuff um, this one is passive okay so there is a little bit of a a double lack in synergy here uh which is really unfortunate so um this really does change how players are probably going to use Herman Prime now that we've seen this nerf and as always until the commander is in the game we don't know if this is their final form or not okay so before you start making decisions on who you're going to be investing in and all of this I would say wait until tests come out from Herman Prime okay the whales are going to instantly max him and we're gonna have test results very quickly as soon as he comes into the game so wait for that now does this change my opinion of Herman Prime yes he is definitely a little bit less exciting than he was before however one thing that I want to remind players okay is that the poison stacks are extremely powerful and with Herman Prime even if he's secondary to a skill tree commander he'll be applying poison faster than it's falling off of the target okay so basically with his skill cycle he's oh it's always going to be refreshing the duration of that poison so you don't have to worry about that but what I want you to imagine okay is that let's assume even in a scenario where players only bring three armies to the open field in a murder ball if their archer army always includes Herman Prime and does not include Tamiris then the murder ball will be filled with aoe poison application okay every player will have at least one commander being herman prime applying aoe poison so 
the speed with which players will reach the 15 stack cap with that scenario is extremely fast okay it's going to be within like you know one or two skill cycles for the murder ball it's going to be actually insane and i do think still that herman prime is fundamentally going to change how the open field fights are are operated people will be running around with 45 percent increased skill damage taken all the time that is crazy okay that is crazy so yes i think herman prime is still going to be incredible i think the 2000 damage factor three target aoe is amazing i would rather have that than nebu to be honest with you especially because it's a bigger shape it's a half circle so like just from the aoe damage factor alone he's still incredible okay the fact that it's aoe poison is incredible the stats yes the stats are a little bit low here i will admit that but the march speed is nice his synergy with aoe commanders is nice uh overall i still have a very positive outlook for herman prime i will still probably be replacing my Boudicca prime that's still my plan here okay but it is unfortunate that he has been nerfed already guys I am curious to know what you think in the comment section below let me know what you think about the new Herman prime 24 hours after we got the information from the original Herman prime and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and don't forget to drop a thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it. and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this is Dominic I will talk to you guys again soon peace